What have you got here? So what do you think it is, Leah? I would say a beaver. Yeah. I mean, look at that. Look at the size of that wood chip. Oh, that's as big as your hand. <laughs> but you know what's neat? Look, you can't see any wood chips here. No tracks or anything. That, yeah. That means that this must have been done last fall hmm. before the snow came. So why would it have stopped? Like, why wouldn't it have, why wouldn't it have gone? Well, fast? you know, sometimes it takes more than one night to finish off a tree. And I think the weather just set in. It was late in the season and they stopped chewing. But, you know, it probably means that there's other trees around here then that they've been chopping away at. Hey, look over there. Oh, that's, there's one. That's a neat one. All right. Now look at this. Oh, this is chewed right through. This one's not even attached anymore. That's right. But but look, it's still standing up. But I've never seen that happen. I think I, it's almost as if you know they could sense that even if they chewed another spot, it's still going to get hung up. So they're not going to get it access to that bark. Uh, so it's quite manageable for them. And they'll in some cases tow that away into the water. Really? Yeah. You have to roll it down the hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a beaver lodge behind us down on the pond. Let, let's go see it. All right. This way. Yeah. What look like bushes sticking up through the snow? But we're still on the pond though. You got it. We're actually still over the pond and there's ice underneath these sticks. Now look behind us here. That's the lodge. Oh, okay. And the fact that this or these bushes are here, well, they're really a raft of sticks and trunks that the beavers cut down. So if we remove the snow, remove the ice, what you see is a large raft of these sticks and wood that the beavers put here last fall. This is their food pile. And what's neat, you know what? The fact that this is here means this lodge is occupied. There are beavers living there right now. Hmm. And that's how you can tell the difference between if a lodge is occupied or not. If they don't have a food pile, that lodge is not occupied. Well, let's go a little bit closer. I kind of want to see how big it is. Yeah. <laughs> look at this, Leah. What does it look like? Well, the snow's all melting. Yeah. And there's there's almost a, a hole down into it. I could almost put my, I can, my hand in. Except I can't reach right inside the lodge because you see there's still mud and sticks. Yeah. But there's enough space there for the warm air inside the lodge to come up through and escape. Like a chimney. Like a chimney, <laughs> yeah. I, I've actually seen these in days in the those rare days in winter where it's minus 30 and this air almost turns into frost like smoke coming out yeah. of the lodge and you almost have this vision of beavers hanging around a stove <laughs> keeping themselves warm of course that's not happening yeah. but it does tell you this is an indication how warm the lodge yeah, is it's got to be really warm yeah. down there to melt the snow on top exactly so remember they have access to a hole underneath the lodge that takes them into the pond. Yeah. So that water does not freeze in their hole. So it gives you an idea that the temperature is probably in and around freezing inside the lodge, which is not too bad. Yeah. In this particular case, what's neat is, this was one of the first lodges the beavers occupied when we first moved here 22 years ago. Mm -hmm. Then it was abandoned for a good 10 years, and now they come back to it and build it up again. So my guess is they'll be here another two or three years and then move on to another lodge again. Biologists, having studied beavers for many years, know that there are lodges like this, sometimes on the edge of a pond or a river or a lake. Sometimes I've seen them, uh, a lodge, right in the center of a pond where it's not that deep. Uh, and others, they actually dig into a bank. They're, they're called, nicknamed, bank beavers. Okay, yeah. So, but what determines that, I don't think we're, we really don't know. It could simply be a preference of the individual animal or perhaps that indeed those are the best locations for that specific area. So there is some variations as to where these are found. Uh, but one thing that is predictable, they'll be there two to four years and then move on. Great, well, hopefully we can see them in the spring. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? That's a, a good sign. Let's go check something else out I want to show you. Great.